Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the timer, pause, and unpause nodes? I have created a quick little example. We're going to cover what the pause and unpause timer by handle nodes do. Note there are four versions of these. One each for the by handle and by function name. We are not going to cover the by function name as they are generally less safe in my opinion. Plus Epic has expressed that they want them to be handled by the handles rather than by the function name so that way you can track them better. Now the pause timer by handle and unpause timer by handle take in a timer handle in order to function on. You get your timer handles from your set timer events as the output. In this case I've gone ahead and I have a timer by function name. We're going to increase our health every two seconds kind of like an in combat regeneration and I'm saving it to my timer handle. Now let's say I want to make it where it's only going to happen when they're out of combat. I want this to be passive. So when they go into combat, I wanted to go ahead and pause it. And when they get out, I want to unpause it. Now, traditionally, you'd probably want to clear it and then start it over. So that way they don't really get any benefit of it entering and exiting with a continuous timer. But for example, we're going to use the pause and unpause so you can see how they work. Now, let's run this. And we're going to go ahead and do something. After two seconds, it's going to go to one, two, and it's going to continue. Now, if I hit the stop button, well, nothing's going to happen. Nothing happens because I haven't actually told it what to stop, pause, or unpause. You need a handle. Let me go ahead and plug these in. So keep that in mind. And for my example, I'm running this through a flip-flop. So basically, the first time I click our button, it's going to pause it. The next time I click the button, it's going to unpause it. So we can easily see it pausing and unpausing. Now I set this to two seconds. So when I pause this before it ticks over to the next event here, increasing health. And then I unpause it, you'll be able to see it immediately work and you'll notice it's different than our clearing. So if we hit play and we do something, it's going to slowly count up every two seconds. Three, and then we wait two seconds, four, and it's going to continue. Now I'm going to hit stop right before it hits the next number so you can see it's actually continuing rather than clearing it. And there we go. Now it's paused on eight. Now if this was set to use a clear, if I was to restart the timer, it's going to wait two seconds before the next tick. When I hit the stop button here, it's going to unpause it, and you're going to see very shortly it immediately click up to the next number which will be nine and there we go so rather than having to wait the full two seconds we're just basically continually running our timer and pausing it or unpausing it nothing really fancy here i just wanted to show i paused it at 14 and 0.8 probably i unpaused it and boom immediately to 15. i just want to show the sub subtle difference between starting and stopping as compo compared to pausing and unpausing this is going to wrap up our pause and unpause timer by handle nodes.